Hello, everyone, and welcome to And Sleep, a whole you social talk show series. My name is Tommy Licatesi. For this series, we discuss the lifestyles that affect our sleep health. Today, we're going to discuss how the quarantine 15 affects our sleep with bariatric surgeon, Dr. Pratiba Vamulapali. Welcome, Dr. Pratt. Thank you. So um, let's talk about the quarantine 15. We hear about this term being used all the time. And, you know, is it a real thing? What is the quarantine 15? The quarantine 15 is so real. Half of my patients come in complaining of the quarantine 15. Patients who had surgery three years ago and all of them were doing great, were maintaining a healthy lifestyle, and all of a sudden have gained 15 pounds. Uh, or 20 pounds, and they're concerned. What do you think is causing this? Why, why are people suddenly gaining this extra weight? I think it's a combination. Doctors are, are very, they, they talk about it all the time, right? Getting your 10,000 steps. Mm -hmm. Well, when you're at home, it's really hard to get your 10,000 steps. When you live in a place in an urban center like New York, where you're inside at home, it's even harder to get your 10,000 steps. 10,000 steps in a New York City apartment. <laughs> it's a lot of steps, right? That, that's like a full-time job. Yeah. Um, so that goes away. So that exercise goes away. Mm -hmm. Sometimes people are scared to go outside. They're scared to go to the gym. And especially, I think, when COVID started, people were really scared yeah. to go outside. So I think that contributed to it. So you didn't have your normal activity. You didn't have whatever routine exercise you did. On top of that, I think there's just the availability of food, and that's what I hear all the time from patients. You know, when you're at home and the kitchen's right there, it's really hard not to get a snack. Right. Uh, it's hard not to think about a snack, so I hear people snacking a lot more. That's a problem. And then finally, you know, I think we can't underestimate the fact that COVID has made many people anxious. It's made me anxious. It's made my children anxious. So it's not just affecting your physical health, but also your mental health. 100%, it's absolutely affecting your mental health and your mental state. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what's also made people eat more. You know, I always say to patients, we don't eat just because we're hungry, right? We eat for a whole host of reasons. And certainly anxiety and emotional eating is a, is a big piece of that. The cravings go up as the sleep goes down. And in everybody now, the sleep is more interrupted because of anxiety right? Mm -hmm. And therefore the cravings are going up. And I, I think it's a natural vicious cycle. So now the, the weight gain affects your sleep and the sleep affects your immune system. How is that a tying in? And sleep is an incredibly important component. It's the most underrated component of our lives. Um, it's, it's one of those things that we never think about and we, we take for granted, but it's so important because while you sleep, your body recharges, right? Just like your iPhone recharges in a circuit. Well, mm -hmm. sleep is that it's that charger recharging you. Mm -hmm. But when you sleep, your body does a lot of amazing things. It repairs, it heals, it rejuvenates, and it boosts your immune system. So that immune system boost is no longer there. That repair is no longer there, whether it's you know, in your lungs or in your heart or your kidneys. All of those things get repaired while you sleep. To anyone out there that is struggling with the quarantine 15, what do you recommend for them? So one of the biggest recommendations I always give everybody is get back into a routine. I think one of the things that kind of has augmented the quarantine 15 or, or mm -hmm. given us a sense of hopelessness is that all of our routines are gone. And, and most of us have routines that kind of get us through the day. So giving ourselves routines back, whether it's when you wake up, when you go to bed, um, when you exercise, when you have dinner with your family, when you put your device away. I think it's important to kind of do all of those things. So going to sleep and waking up at the same time and being in a routine, that, that, that affects um, your, I guess, your lifestyle as well and, and your, your weight? I think it certainly helps. You know, I think one of the most common things that I see is, um, and I see this in my children, I see this in healthcare workers, I see this in my patients. When you don't go to sleep at the same time, your body doesn't know what to expect. And the more you push it off and the more your sleep is, is asynchronous with the sun, the worse it is, right? You should be sleeping in an ideal situation when the sun is down and you should be up when the sun is up. It's how our bodies process melanin and cortisol and all those other good hormones that we need. All right, great. Thank you so much, Dr. Pratt. Absolutely. Thank you for having me, Tommy. Of course.